Hey guys, so one thing that is very clear to me is that Hearthstone has no backbone. They are spineless, and now they're trying to walk things back, which sounds like the NBA. And I don't know. I, I didn't expect Blizzard to be so weak. And I'm all about strong companies. If you have... If you believe in something and you have a code of ethics and this is what you believe in, then you, sh even if you have to sacrifice money, blood, sweat, or even tears, you have to pursue that belief. That's what makes us human. Is I may not believe the same thing you believe, but I believe that you have a right to express that opinion. Um, I believe that. You, I, I believe that you believe it, and what makes it different from me? You know, so if I think I should take action based on my beliefs, and you believe the same thing, why? Who am I to judge you? So Hearthstone, owned by Blizzard, Bang Blitzchung, and I really thought about this for a moment, um, and. Then I got really angry when I read the apology letter, which is not really an apology. It's just kind of like, oh, well, we people are deleting accounts or losing money from the U.S. side. They're bleeding from both sides, right? Um, I, will, I will go ahead and say this. Uh, I think Activision, its 5% ownership is owned by uh, a Chinese company, Tencent. And when you deal with a company and you want that very, very incredibly, um, most Americans don't realize this, but there's more money in China than there is in America and already in many industries like solar energy. If you were uh, inventing solar energy, you could make, make more money there. Boeing. So if you ask why, why, do all, why would Boeing go to China to create a factory to get technology stolen? It's because there's enough money to do it. Trust me, Boeing knows that even today, their tech is being, I guess, mishandled would be the way I would say it. They know that, but why would they do that? Why would you go to a country that you would believe is going to steal your tech? It's because you have billions of dollars already in play. You're okay. Here, have this tech because you've already made, you've made house money. You're betting with house money. Same with the NBA. Look at all these really, and I love the, I love the NBA. Um, James Harden, he doesn't speak that much, the beard, but West, Westbrook does. He's very vocal. Nothing. LeBron James, the most vocal and social, socially active athlete. Nothing. And he's in. He was in China. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, like, you know, if you want to make an impact, you have to sacrifice something. If you're not willing to sacrifice anything that could come back and hurt you, then in my opinion, how brave are you really? Um, and a lot of times, like, you know, when you talk about uh, the great uh, leaders in history, George Washington being one of them, you know what he sacrificed? He could have been king of the U.S., right? No, who would stop him if he ran for election? The reason that we have, you know, eight years, for the most part, I mean, you did have the Roosevelt's, and uh, that was during a period of war. Is he stepped down? He could have been president of America for his entire life, and then passed down the presidency to his children. That's a scenario that could have occurred because that would actually be like Viva la France, right? What are the, um, but he stepped down. He gave something up for a principle he believed in. He gave up power for something he believed in. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Um, I know that a lot of people say the Emancipation Proclamation, that wasn't really the reason for the Civil War. It was kind of, mm, hmm. I would say that when they, when Abraham Lincoln won, they knew, the South knew what would probably happen. And he was willing and he did get shot and killed. 
And he knew that he put his life in danger because literally half the country are soldiers who want to kill you. Okay? And when, when you talk about, and those are great U.S. leaders, but you can talk about generals. And that's why I've been very, very adamant against uh, Reed Duke, Huey Jensen, and Owen Turnwall. Because they're, they're referencing a very historical event in Chinese history, the Peach, Bread, uh, the Peach Garden Oath. Where those dudes are going to sacrifice everything. Family, children, themselves, power. And that's what the oath meant. Is, you know, I will be there, even if it costs me my reputation. Even, so then when Owen Turtenwall, who's now a, a Hearthstone player, it looks like, um, he's been, his reputation is being slain and slandered and whatever. Like, maybe it's real, maybe it's not real. But I expected those two people to come to the defense. They did not. That is not a historical event we witnessed. I cannot imagine that happening in a romance of the free kingdoms. The, the whole history of China would be effed if that's what the Pete's, brother, Pete's Garden Oath was. So I had no respect for those three because of uh, the happenings with Owen Turnwall. And I, I don't care. Maybe they think Owen's innocent. Maybe they don't. But they got to say something. They got to be proactive. They cannot keep their mouth silent when they're so proactive against Teresa Nielsen, for instance. Um, Gary T. will, you know, scratch Teresa Nielsen's cards because apparently she offended him in some way. And it's... You can't be outspoken on some things, some principles when it benefits you and then keep your mouth closed when it doesn't on the same exact principles, right? Freedom of speech. The right to express your actions. And you know what? T Donald is going to tear these NBA players up the next time they talk about any of their social issues. And that's really our shame because they do need to talk. Um, it's really, really, in my opinion... Hearthstone, for instance, how do you know they won't do that to you again? What they did to Blitz Chung, how do you know they won't do that in, for the next Hearthstone player? Maybe it's not even Hong Kong anymore. Maybe it's Brazil. You know, so a Brazil Hearthstone player does not like how the, the corruptness of their government. And they're using the platform they got famous off, which is Hearthstone, to make that statement. Then they get banned, and then how do you know? How can you trust a company that is willing to do this to someone they're promoting? If they're do willing to do this so publicly to someone they're promoting, imagine what they're doing privately to people when those people don't have as big of a following or those people don't have the ability to get the media attention that Blitz Chung was able to do. And that's what worries me. Um, a lot of Magic players, they don't have Twitter with, a, with any Twitter followers. They don't have YouTube. They don't have, I mean, they're just kind of at the mercy of Wizards of the Coast. So when the Coast says, you know what? This deluxe edition with this amazing binder not made from real letter is $450. <laughs> they don't have any say. They make a video. Who's going to watch it? I mean, it sounds sad, but that's why my opinions are not always popular. But they're my opinions. And there's never been a sponsor. There's never been a payout from any of these people. Any of these And trust me, they have tried to pay me out. Pico Trade on two different occasions, wanted to pay me out a ton of money. And I was like, uh, no. And then other Pico Trade lookalikes want to pay me money because... Why not? You can send a bunch of dum dums to you on the impairment scheme. I have a lot of respect for Wizard of the Coast now. I have no respect for Hearthstone. And honestly, I would be embarrassed to stream Hearthstone right now. I know it's a livelihood, but you gotta you gotta bleed. You do not go through a revolution or quote revolution, but it's not really a revolution. This is called chains. You don't create change by sitting on your ass and doing the same thing you've always done and collecting money. Money is the one thing that people can use to placate change. 
imagine that you have a terrible boss who's been harassing you and you hate him. And then he offers you more money and then you stay on. That boss didn't become a better boss. You just got more money. Come on now. Like, Jesus, like, it's so bad. Anyway, bye guys.